let's just cover quickly. Oil, you've had very early rejection. One of my Academy members, he will know if he's watching this, I mentioned about pulling it earlier. That is because, you know, you've got that market sentiment that is, is causing problems, supply side, and that is why you're not getting that immediate push to the upside. It is very tight range bound, but I'd just be careful trading oil for that reason. If you bounce off here and get slightly higher and then slowly progress to your $80 level, it wouldn't shock me, but you'd be better off taking a minor long at this point as you exited earlier. That's why I mentioned it, because it gives you the chance to rebuy after you've already taken profit. If you look at your weekly, you can see it's not particularly strong to the upside. Like I said, it's because there isn't that market sentiment. When the tensions in the Middle East go, people aren't in demand for oil. That's what happens, okay? So you've got to be really careful because if it does turn out the market trickles lower, you can't be over leveraged, okay? Um, it's really, really dangerous. So just be very careful if you're trading oil in that sense. If you're gonna short it, I would give it some room, really, at least until here. I would only go light at that point and I would just begin the process of DCA scaling in further. But the reason why I mentioned exiting early and as you've seen this early rejection is because of two reasons. Number one, if you look at market sentiment, you can see that there isn't enormous demand for oil. Secondly, you can also see that um, on, on an early basis with lower time frames, early price action, there is immediate rejection. There isn't that long side bias. You can see people aren't slamming into buy it, hence why you get that early rejection. Now you are seeing you know, minor bounces to the downside now because you're hitting on early support. And like I said, if it does turn out that you prevail up here next, wouldn't shock me at all, but I'm not completely interested. Rather short at 81.7, I'd rather do it lightly and be very careful on my way to doing it. If you do find that you have an immediate big change in market sentiment and there's serious demand for oil, you may find your MAs uptick slightly, okay? and you come to these levels of previous price action, that would be ideal for me as a risk of a short entry, but just be careful. Oil obviously is very sentiment driven, okay? Whatever goes on in the world regarding oil um, can drive up prices. You may find there's another energy crisis, that could be a massive problem again, uh, because it drives up the price of oil, energy, everything like that. Uh, companies who supply it, you know, many heavily, heavily ranked in the FTSE, make tons and tons and tons of money. So if there is an immediate change in sentiment, you've got to react to it with oil. If you don't, you will be too late and you will find it causes problems. The short zone you had up here was very ideal on a technical basis. I would say you have minor long entries anywhere around here. And if it does just take a minute to get higher and a bit of time, um, like I said, I would prefer it to the short side. Don't over leverage if you are going to short it, like I said, because if the market sentiment changes rapidly and there's all this news, I mean, I'll cover it at the time, but if there's a sudden change in market sentiment regarding demand and the price flies up, you'll just be caught on the wrong side of it. Um, so my bias really for oil, I guess, uh, you can see on your monthly, you had very strong long tech zones, that's great. You're coming to very early resistance level one, over there, and I would say if it does keep going, it will take a minute, you'll get near 86. I don't think it's gonna happen quickly. In other words, if you're a risk averse uh, short side trader with the longer term short, um, sorry, the longer term downtrend within the pullback from this peak uh, times three, then nearer $90.5 will probably be ideal for you at the time. So short bias really is gonna be up top. I wouldn't consider buying it here. I think you've got a lot of risk. If you're going to buy it, do it very lightly. And anything lower, nearer $70 on a big fall or a continuation to the downside is where I would place my risk averse long entries. Okay, so that would bring you right down to where you've previously seen a rebound. That is my oil bias. Get my free training.